probably doesn't look like it because, well, I don't know, you guys haven't ever been in my house. My house actually looks like a pharmacy too, so this kind of looks like that. But we're in the uh, product development kitchen, test kitchen of Nutribolt, which is one of the biggest companies in our space. Um, you guys probably know them as C4 or Cellucor or Extend. They know a lot of uh, different names, but um, we got this like nice wall. They put me through a uh, Easter egg hunt to try to pick out some of the ones that were either from a different country or never hit the US market were just kind of concepts, either labels or things like that. I did okay, I didn't do great. I think I got one or two out of like five. Um, maybe some of you that can see some of these things that are like product nerds will spot them. They've shown us around a little bit. Uh, they're actually building a state-of-the-art headquarters uh, about five or ten miles from here but we stopped in here before we're heading over to South by Southwest. They're doing a marketing activation. That'll be where all the like the cool stuff is at but I actually wanted to try a bunch of like their new licensed flavors, a bunch of their new kind of smart energy flavors that they have now before we're in like the mess of South by Southwest because that's all about the people, not so much about me. So I wanted to kind of have my own private session because I'm special. Uh, you know, they didn't put my name on the wall or anything this time, but um, everybody says I'm special. So my mom says I'm special. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Josh, can I get one C4 Smart Energy? What flavors do you got right now? Mm, I got all kinds of things. There's one with Uzu, Yuzu. You, what the heck is that word? <laughs> Obviously, a uh, Midwestern guy from Ohio has no idea what these words are. What would go good for my mullet? <laughs> what would go good with your mullet? Oh. Definitely this freedom. Perfect. Life. That's the freedom. <laughs> that goes with your mullet. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Blue, blue rather heads. That's so. like bottoms up. It's all that tastes like blue rather heads. Oh wow, it does. Even with the aminos being not the easiest thing mm -hmm. to flavor against, I think it has. It's not. Yeah, so it's that's the and so that's extend. So it's got glutamine and what else? Uh, so we got seven grams branch chain amino acids, two and a half grams of glutamine. Uh, we have an electrolyte blend that's 1140 milligrams so that's sodium chloride potassium chloride and uh, sodium citrate so yielding about 220 milligrams sodium and 170 milligrams potassium not the easiest thing to flavor <laughs> uh yeah aminos are notoriously horrible to flavor yeah. <laughs> uh leucine in particular glutamine is not bad yeah. uh the branch chains are rough uh leucine being notably one of the the rougher ones but yeah. Uh, part of, I think, Extend's legacy is being able to be one of the first to, to really flavor aminos well and then provide just a plethora of different flavor options to yeah. choose from. So I think that really kind of helped propel them to the, the market leader in that. And so that's something we try to, you know, continue on and take a lot of pride in flavoring uh, all of our products at the top of the competitive landscape. So Yeah, it tastes good. I, I wish we could, I mean, we used to sell a product called uh, Extend Raw that was just the product without flavoring, uh, and everyone would be like, this tastes horrible. <laughs> and it's almost, you know, it, it kind of helps uh, from like a marketing standpoint. It's like, yeah. yeah, and then we make it taste good. Yeah. And so like... Um, I know you guys probably do this, but I always do uh, this with different clients. I will have the 
manufacturer of the flavor house or whatever send the raw stuff over first Ooh, or at least with it oh, yeah, so yeah. then they can understand the notes because then it helps them. at least for me i always felt like it would help when you're doing combo flavors if it's something that you want it to be like a balance off of things at least yeah. you know like oh this has a this bitterness here has this you know whatever it's like you would know how to play off of that if you don't ever taste the raw yeah you know and product I, it's tough to do in the background. That, that's also something that we did with uh uh, the Perfetti team for Ixen Airheads actually yeah. is we sent, uh, we, we sent them yeah. raws so that they could have a, a reference of what this tasted like unflavored um, because their reference right is, is uh, yeah. Airheads candy yeah. so it's like their you know flavor and sugar, sugar. and, and uh, <laughs> some of the other I forget what else is in there but I think a little bit of like cornstarch you yeah. know so it gets shape but you know if your reference point is uh, you know common uh, baking ingredients yeah. that really don't have much flavor like yeah. you have no appreciation for like how difficult some of these uh, functionals are. Yeah so. I always feel like from a flavor science side or I always say like flavor artistry I feel like that has been the one key to the industry's growth over the last probably 10 to 15 years is like just how far that's moved. Like, oh the, the flavor of things are exceptionally it's so great much now. better now than it used to be and people i think now take it for granted like kids that are getting into the space now that try products and they think everything is like amazing and they're like oh this is not any yeah. good i'm like wait a minute if you and i don't oh. even i hadn't been around where i talked yeah. to some of the even older people that have been in the space like that they, they whatever and yeah they just haven't tried but i think if they had a chance to taste raw material yeah. then they would know just how difficult it is it's to taste some of these like to just flavor so some hard. of stuff it's so, it's so hard it's like yeah. yeah we want to pack these formulas in there but then yeah. How do you it, flavor against that? And the, then it's like you don't want to move the, you know, if it's artificial sweeteners too much or like even natural, it's like almost impossible to flavor these yeah. products at the heftiest dosages with natural stuff. I mean, and yeah. not make it taste overly bitter or, yeah. you know, whatever. So, yeah, we're all very spoiled now. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> the flavor chemists that are out there have definitely Taking made it to a different huge, level. huge yeah. uh, breakthroughs in terms of some of the technologies and maskers and sweeteners and other tricks that they can incorporate to kind of help cover these things up but yeah to, to josh's point if you were to go back and try amino acids from like 2007 like most people would gag yeah be like people drank this and by 2007 standards like if you were to go back to like mid 90s they'd be like even yeah, worse you know true. proportionally yeah. worse yeah. so it's like comparing a phone with a with a cord on it, right? Yeah. Back then, you, you yeah. could do anything to to an Apple yeah, the phone first, today, right? The so first like... cell phone's like a, a you know a military sat phone that's like two pounds that you like hold up to your ear. That's like what it's come from. So. Come All right, so you, yeah, a long way. America. Yeah. <laughs> hey, back in the day, they didn't even have they got paged and you had to stop at a pay phone. That's that's what I remember. My dad. But that was like an advancement phone. in flavor, like we're talking yeah. about now. But now we're to the iPhones of being able to offer flavors and yeah, collaborations with you know Airheads, things like that is amazing for sure. And functional ingredients. And functional ingredients. That's right. I don't know how you guys landed doses. the two like that's right. two favorite candies. I, oh really? I, I have a lot of favorite candies. <laughs> yeah. I have kind of white trash taste buds from <laughs> the day, but uh, Airheads and Starburst are like oh, really? two. Oh really? All right. Well, I obviously could tell like the type of candy I like, so that's always the gotcha. Yeah, like, it's like the, the fruit, similar kind the of like fruit, fruit chewy yeah, taffy, kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do like. I mean, my wife's big on Sour Patch Kids. That's like her her okay. favorite thing. So that's yeah. one of your favorites. But the strawberry watermelon. Strawberry. Yep. Yeah, so we're going uh, black cherry, strawberry watermelon, then we'll go peach mango, and uh, use lime. This one's a little lighter. So on like these, on we, we tried to be, um, with the new smarts, we, we really wanted to be um, a little bit less kind of on the sweetness intensity. Uh, we were able to kind of smooth out some astringency that was yeah. inherent in the old smart energy, uh, just with some some tweaks that we were making. Um, so we're, we're really happy with kind of where we landed, both on the cans and on the powders with Again, continuous improvement on our side, yeah. so we're always kind of playing around with these things, even after we launch them, just to to see if we can enhance it, whether it's uh, to you know a, a benefit uh, experience for the consumer with a new ingredient, or from just a flavor experience. If there's something that we feel like can be improved, we're always working in the background to, yeah. to try to make it better. So these yeah. hopefully are a little bit. Now the can though is strawberry guava, right? Strawberry guava, yeah. Okay. So not all of these flavors are direct oh, so, match. Okay, okay. Uh, some of these are new. Like Yuzu lime is one that we have in um, in yeah. the cans either. Right. Uh, technically, uh, we probably 
finished all of these powders before we decided on the, the cans uh, and before that project was complete. Uh, but just from like the, the launch timing cycle, this one came after the, the beverage, but I also even though think it was completed first. I think it's a good idea to have a little bit of a mix. I mean, I know you have some of them in can and in powder, but then different ones in powder, so yeah. it's not always the same experience. Yeah, yeah it gives a, a, a reason to try some new flavors if you really like the product, right? Uh, yeah. Now you may try a new format because you, you want to try a, a new flavor. Yeah, and yuzu lime here, but in the other one it's yuzu blood orange, so it's yeah. those are... Or blood sure. orange yuzu. Yep. Hmm. Good deal. I like it. So that one's peach. This one's peach nectar. Peach mango. Next. Peach mango. Yeah. And then the can. It's peach nectar. Is it peach mango in the can? That's peach mango. Yeah. Okay. Used to be peach mango nectar. We we dropped the nectar. Yep. So it's still. Still peach mango. Mm. Yeah. That's Yum. one of my favorites. That's good. And in the can too. <laughs> And I think the flavor profile on the 12 ounce versus the 16 ounce has improved. Less oh sweetness. yeah, again. And we did a lot of um, third party um, sensory data on the new Smart Energies and kind of comped it uh, against the competitive set in that like 12 ounce yeah. sleek uh, with um, uh, the, the, the audience that is like the predominant share of that audience uh, and, and scored really, really favorably with uh, a lot of our new uh, flavors uh, in comparison to, to what's out there currently. So we're really happy with uh, where they landed. There's, like, what's the normal consumption behavior of somebody that has a stick pack on the go? What is their, I guess, what's the, the mode container? Like what is somebody, the, the most common container somebody has? And it's usually something that is probably 20 or 20 something ounce, like, um, stainless steel or something, you know, yeah, like when somebody's yeah, carrying yeah, something yeah. around, you think about that from, you know, if it's even like liquid IV or what, you go, okay, sure, it's probably yeah. gonna be more diluted. How does that taste in that application yeah. as well? Because though it says, you know, do 12 ounces, Yep. most people are gonna be, okay, they're gonna fill it up to how they fill up based on the the, the actual dilution you know, bottle, of whatever, yeah, they're whatever the bottle yeah. is. Gotcha. Yeah, because I think it, it gets into that weird thing where you look at, you know, you know, you're obviously dictating what's the best, whatever, and then there's the, how does the, the natural consumer in their own settings, how do they use a product? Because I think sometimes there's a difference on those things. And then yeah. how do you account for that? Because it has to really probably be great on both sides. For sure, and yeah. You're talking about light flavors, it's like how light does it get? Is it like it's still distinct enough that somebody can have that and, you know, kind of drink it a lot? I know there's caffeine in that particular application, but I think that even uh, having somebody have that in their, uh, water bottle and then drinking it over like maybe four hours or, or yeah. whatever it is when they're gotcha. out, you know, with their kids at uh, soccer practice or whatever it is or game or whatever. You, you think about those types of applications. And I don't know if that, like those are usually steps down the line, but I, I just always think about like the consumption behavior of like well, how they're naturally just going to do it For sure. over like how you try to dictate. Because I think now consumers control the you know they control the adventure it's like where how yeah. are they going to do it it's like yeah you're going to try to tell, tell them you know where do they shop where do you how do you like all of a sudden now it's like there's this you know where are we going to go with it it's not so much always just dictated by the yeah the brand for, or the retailer or the whatever yeah for sure and for for a lot of these we kept it at 12 to be consistent with our yeah. our, our td um in terms of an experience but to your point, I, I would think most people probably go a little bit more than that because they're just carrying around yeah. a container that, that's a little bit bigger. But ideal world, hopefully they try it at 12 and then decide, yeah. you know, if they need to dilute it a little bit more than that. Um, and hopefully they're just eyeballing and, and mixing it in. But uh, we strive for pretty strong flavor intensity just in our products generally. So it should be suitable for a wide variance of preferences in terms of dilution um and you know consumers I, I i don't know how they'll take it but uh you know this our our instructions are our guideline yeah. and definitely there's people that over dilute or even concentrate so yeah. you know for us it might be like oh at yeah, at 16 it's too weak 12 it's perfect at eight it's too strong and then other people may be like i'll put this in six and just slam it back because i just want this like sweet uh, concentrated delivery of, of flavor so um, we don't worry too much about it um, because at the end of the day like everyone's gonna be different so yeah. there's some level of subjectivity in there but our hope is that at least as a guide like there's a level of consistency between our RTD and our, our stick pack so that they're 
they're starting there and then adjusting based on their personal preference. What are you doing back there? Just hanging out. Hanging out? Hanging out, noobs. <laughs> Where are we heading next? We're gonna head over to On It, another Austin based. I always wanna say like sports nutrition, but that's not the greatest word anymore. It's probably active nutrition, um, just functional CPG in general brand. Um, so it'll be exciting. This will be a little bit different. I've never been over there, even though I know a handful of people um, and I lived not too far from there. Um, so I'm excited to see like the gym and their office and everything like that because it's a place that I think you know, a lot of people have probably seen videos of like Joe Rogan and, and things like that be at. So it'll be good to kind of see that here through our vlog, through our lens. this big line going on we're at south by southwest and we're going through the c4 smart house which is your baby i think the c4 smart house <laughs> yes <laughs> it is our baby but what are we gonna see? what are we seeing i mean like because i'm excited to go through yeah. this i've been yeah. seeing like a little bit of like the clips you guys shared ahead Coming of time soon, a little sneak peek but i'm excited what are we seeing so the c4 smart house it's really it's a physical manifestation of our new campaign which is four moments of we created four moments of to put the consumer in the driver's seat. So we're relaunching our beautiful C4 Smart Energy, powered by Cognizant, of course. And all about C4 Smart Energy, we want the consumer to feel like it is an energy drink for them and it relates to their lifestyle. So whatever that moment is for you, if it's seven networking meetings at South by Southwest, <laughs> or if it's about to be your first big break as a musical artist, C4 Smart Energy is your everyday carry for those small moments that lead up to the bigger moments of greatness. So come on in, let's check it out. C4 is the only beverage, the only energy beverage that it has cognizant. So it fuels your brain. Smart energy, y'all. So thank you so much for joining me. We've got our fuel um, immersion experience behind me. Um, you'll get to see firsthand how C4 is empowering those to go about their day, stay energized, stay motivated. So take a look in there and I'll be joining you in a second. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. For taking those crazy ideas and going, yeah, work, turn them into something amazing. Submersing us in it. Submersing us in. It's good. This is our creator lab. We're giving out a free hoodie to everybody, and then we have handy stations where you can customize it and really make it your own. About to get my artist on. Oh. So, this is part of their, I guess, immersive, interactive um, activation we got going on here. And part of this is, uh, I guess owed to the street art that is all around Austin. Since I lived here for five years, I absolutely loved checking all that out. And so this is kind of cool. It's kind of like, you know, I get to, I guess, design my own hoodie here, which I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna see. Uh, what's this? Like, what, how big, how, oh, oh, oh. Huh. All right. That's it. Is it done? I'm like a minimalist. Right. Let's see it. Right. Let's see the work of art. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> How's yours coming? It's going great, Grant. I'm loving it. Let's see what we got here. Putting my brain base on the back of my shirt. Ah, smart. Smart. That's really smart. <laughs> I'm so focused on this <laughs> task. Whoa. Nailed it. Like Picasso. What are your thoughts? I love it. No, it's 
like it's crazy. You probably can't hear me, but if you can, I used to live right across the street, so I used to walk by this place all the time, and it's like a blank canvas. So then you have somebody come in and like throw their energy here, you know, whatever, pun intended, smart energy, and you can see like how they've transformed the space. It's super cool. So somewhere in between the great event that C4 put on at South by Southwest and us heading to dinner and having a bunch of fun and that kind of running a little bit later and then Grant and I having a super early flight the next day, we forgot an outro. So while Grant was putting together this great video that you guys have enjoyed, he hit me up and said, you gotta film an outro. I didn't wanna do it here, I didn't wanna really kind of do it, but hey, I'm a YouTuber and I gotta do that kind of stuff. So smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe if you're not. Um, the bell, I think that gives you notifications when I post my multiple videos a week. All that stuff is much appreciated. And furthermore, if you guys are enjoying these and following along and, and just supporting this journey, I really appreciate you. And we're gonna be back on the road soon, so I hope you guys are gonna stick around and enjoy those episodes as well. <laughs>